All right. So here's your rabbit that you've bought. Um, first thing I did was I took, I went ahead and took his nose off. There's going to be that hard spot where your hot glue was, but that's all right. All right, so we're just going to add some color into his ears. And when I was at Home Depot last night, I got a new color that is um, kind of the same as a cactus flower by Americana. Really kind of a corally pink that I really love. So I'm just going to brush this on his ears, give him some more color. So you'll be able to watch the replay, you know, because I did not give you any notice that I was going to do this tonight. And the other one I did with a rainbow on her stomach, but this one's going to have an Easter egg. So I didn't use any special fabric paint because, you know, it's not going to get washed or anything, so good as it is. Jeez. Brittany's over there making her faux food, so you may hear some uh, jingling of cups going on over there. She owes me because I cleaned up her spot today, except I loaded it all up on the table. Now she's got to find a workspace. All right, so it looks like that got there. I'm gonna put some of this right here on the cheeks as well, brighten them up a little bit. Kind of keep them the same size. And he needs a pink nose. These should work up pretty quickly. So if you wanted to, um, if you can still find them, they would be really cute for Easter baskets. Personalize them. So over that hot glue is still there, the big bump. And I'm just painting right over it. You know, it's, Never going to be perfect, and that's fine. It'll be cute when it's done. And you got to watch because this material kind of you know, it's kind of linty or whatever. I don't even know what to call it. Well, Terry's late and she's eating a cookie. Um, it is Kiss and Tell from Bear. just need to do his eyes. Do I miss the quietness of my shed? Yes. <laughs> it's quiet in here. Uh -huh. Yep. Now, actually, I, I do like the building. Um, I was in cleaning out my shed a little bit today, and I will always... I thought that I was going to take everything out, but I, I think I'm going to keep it. And uh, sometimes when I need some peace and quiet or something, I'll just go in there. We'll see. All right. So I'm just using regular black. And we're going to make these eyes bigger. Just go right over that black dot 
I'm not going to take that off or anything. Then you just got to try to get both of them to look the same. Turn this upside down so I make sure I get them pretty darn close. I'm glad Lynette talked me into doing this tonight because I've got a lot of um, Dollar Tree stuff that I need to refinish. Otherwise, it's just going to sit there till next year. Uh. <laughs> Well, Dusty, if you listen close, you can he still hear those that train come through. Janet, next time it rains, I'll message you and say, Janet, you want to go listen to the rain with me? <laughs> oh. Okay, so he's got a pink mouth that I do not want on there, but there's no way to take that mouth off. So I'm going to use this skinny brush, and we're going to... Give him a black mouth line. I'm just going to go right over the pink one. You're still going to see the pink, but you'd have to look pretty close to see it. I just want this mouth to stand out. And it is very hard, well, it's not very hard, but you're not going to get a real smooth line with this because of the fabric. But it's going to look pretty darn good. All right, then he needs some whiskers. So you can see the line's not going to be solid either. Hey, Brittany, would you bring me that other rabbit sitting up there on the ledge? Mm -hmm. so I can compare the two. Okay. Then I think he needs some eyebrows. So I'm going to just pull an eyebrow here. Oops, behind, yeah. Oh. I don't want his ears in there. <laughs> yeah, that's my dog that barks. <laughs> that is my dog. I think she misses me being out there too because she doesn't bark near as much anymore. So I think she misses me. Oh, this one's going to be for Taylor. I don't know what color I want the Easter egg. Let me go with some yellow since I've got yellow. I had thought about doing a unicorn too, but an Easter egg. Or maybe I should have done her the... I can do a unicorn one for one. Just put an Easter egg on here. Oh, 
Now when I'm done, I got to go over to the Dollar Tree transformation uh, groups and post my makeover. I've been seeing some of the other people with theirs, but I've never seen anybody paint their face. They're just dressing them in really cute clothes, making clothes for them. But I haven't He's seen. Them. Huh? He's staining them. Oh, are they? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Brittany says they tea stain them. So that can dry while I work on the other parts. And then around its neck, I just used some different kinds of ribbons. There's a little bit of different yarn in there. And so I just put four or five pieces together and tied it there. And then I made a little bow for her hair out of the yarn. This carrot, did these carrots come from... Walmart or Hobby Lobby? Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. This one? Okay. So these came from Hobby Lobby. But those didn't go from and I guess if you can find anything at Dollar Tree, I think Dollar Tree is pretty much sold out of anything Usually Easter. The Dollar Tree oh, okay. Yeah, Dollar Tree has them a little bit smaller. But like I said, I now usually I can find quite a bit at our Dollar Trees, but yesterday there was nothing. There, even Walmart was about sold out. All right, now we're going to um, shade and do some highlighting. So I'm going to use this, eh, I thought it was a dark red, but it's going to work, some cherry red. And we, let's see. So then I just need a flat brush. Mary Lynn, I did not say that, but somebody else said that Dollar Tree has peeps that are like this. I have not seen them. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little bit of red on my brush, and I'm going to go around the edge. Where I would normally have my shadow. And pick up a little bit of black because I'm not going to walk over there and find a different red. Get a little bit of black on here. There we go. You have to kind of stroke it on because, like I said, this material is fuzzy. I'm going to clean that brush, and I'm going to come in here with some white now. <laughs> Luann, do you think you'll have three cases of those done? Just saying. Oh, the hound dog without the voice, yes. Ah, uh, Jean, um... 
paid a dollar for them I would um, hmm. that's a hard question I never know when it really comes to Dollar Tree stuff personalized I think 20 bucks okay, I'm going to um, add some white in here to the ears and highlight it a little bit We'll see when we're done, and then I'll ask the people that are watching what would be a good price if they would pay eight, even $18. It depends on how long it would take you. You know, um, a lot of ladies are embroidering these. So this is, this is different, and I haven't seen these done anywhere, so... I'm just going to keep adding some white until, because these ears are kind of wet, but just rub that in. Yep, it would be a good time to sell them is this weekend. All right. So now we need to work on these eyes, and I think they're pretty dry. So I'm just going to pick up a little bit of white. Go right in there. Kind of really wet so I'll probably have to go back in there a little later when that's dry ah, that's pretty good try a little bit more there we go looking better Donna made hers into gnome bun bunnies the other day. Hmm. Wow, that'd be different. Okay. So then I just need a dot of white. Ah. That black is really wet. But you'll get the idea. Then once these are dry, I'll go back and touch up a little bit in there. There we go. Ah, still got a little black in there. All right, I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the eyes. I'm going to add a little bit of white to the nose. blending into it. I'll have to wait till we're done. All right, then what else did I do? I guess we come down here and work on this egg. Let me go ahead and shade it. I usually don't do the shading till all the decorations are in, but it's going to take a long time to dry, so...
No, Cheryl, I am just using regular paint. It looks like he's a sunny side up egg. <laughs> he does. <laughs> sunny side up. There you go. All right, let me find some different colors so he doesn't look like an egg. Or so he doesn't look like a... Oh. Yeah, an egg sunny side up. I got going on here. I'm going to use the colors that I've got so I don't have to get up and go and find any. A little bit of green in there. Oh, I know what I'll do. Oh, if I could open my bottles, the paint would be in good shape. I could add slices of bacon. There you go, slices of bacon to it. Can you open this for me? You know, we make the slip lids for a reason. I don't like slip lids. They're always clogged. I don't like. Brittany tells me if I opened them by the lid, they wouldn't be as bad, but I got a habit of doing that. Janet, do not look at what I do with my poor paints. <laughs> Maybe this is why I go through so much paint with those little bottles. I don't know if I got any purple left. Let's see. Now we'll put some pink dots on him. Black on there. All right, so we have an egg in there. Well, I got this brush out of me. That right over his nose. I don't know, maybe if you have fabric paints, maybe it'll adhere to this uh, material easier. 
And what's good is e even on the other one, I had these little specks and I just touched it with a little bit of white paint. Okay. So there's his face already. What else do I got to do? It looks like that's it. Now I just have to personalize her. Oh, I know what I wanted to do. Let me find a rake brush here. I'm going to make it look like it's sitting in some grass. Instead of the dog next door, now we've got a... Mom, I can hear you. <laughs> I knew you were going to say something. We got the guy in the apartment behind us. You can hear everything he does. Including flushing the toilet. And if he's too loud, you can hear it all. <laughs> I think he can hear you even when you're asleep. <laughs> I bet he's another, because he's just a young kid, I bet he wonders, what, what does that lady do over there at night? He talks to herself. <laughs> She's talking to herself. <laughs> <laughs> What was really funny is the way this place is set up, before my husband put a lock on the door, you could literally open that door behind me and it's his apartment. And so when my daughter Cassidy came down, she's looking through everything and she opens that door. And there, luckily he wasn't in there, but his dog and <laughs> she's like, what's in there? in there. So my husband had to put a board across the door so nobody walks into his apartment. <laughs> I know, Janet, that's why Brittany keeps giving me the evil eye over here. <laughs> oh, shoot. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I don't have any privacy nowhere I go. <laughs> All right, unfortunately, Paley's got a long name. So I'm going to have to... Uh, Put Baby K. Baby K, that's still a lot of words. <laughs> you heard him too. <laughs> you know what? I do have some painting medium. I never even thought about that. Oh, well, it's pretty much done now. Not a whole lot left to do to it. Um, make sure my battery's good. Hold on, because everything's running out of battery. Oops, there we go. Um, oh, that's cute. You want to show it? Here. Here. So on Wednesday, Wednesday post tomorrow, here's the new mug that Brittany's made. Isn't that cute? So, it'll be in the Wednesday post tomorrow, and wait till you see the one she made for the um, Fun in the Sun, kind of beachy. Here. Look at, those look like waves, don't they? So, those are two of them that are going to be on Wednesday post day tomorrow on Virtual Home Decor Marketplace. Um, they love it and it's cute. Just put Tay. <laughs> All right. Okay. And I think I'm gonna do it in purple. T-A-Y-L-E-I-G-H. Eight letters. So four on each side. <laughs> they, they talk about the crazy lady. <laughs> That's true because they're about the same age. 
I see that that crazy lady that talks to herself moved into your building. <laughs> Who would make an apartment? This is what I don't get about this place. In fact, when I'm done, I'll show you what my husband did to the door. But the way this is set up, it used to be a newspaper office. And so my husband had to put locks on both of the interior doors <laughs> because on the other door, you could walk through the back alley and into the other side and walk right into my building. So, so now it's, okay, let's see. I got to think here. T-A-Y-L. All right. So weird setup. And if you listen, you can hear him plain as day. You can when he has friends over. You can. He's just a young kid too. Get purple in here. And I tried a um, Posca pen on that other one that I did, and it was too thick. So I think I would rather have it you know, kind of like this, where it's not completely clear. L. Make sure it's going to go and do the same all the way around. Kind of like having a party line on the telephone. I think that's what he's doing. He's talking on the phone. Leave the kid alone. Huh? Leave the kid I think it's Barb Decker's son is who I think it is, or grandson. So enjoy the quiet because next week on the other side of the wall is the fitness center. And they like to play loud music when they're in there, so eh. I kind of messed up. I didn't get it exactly lined up. I'm sitting there thinking about that kid next door instead of what I'm doing. But that's okay because we've got Taylee. Now, once that dries, I will be able to put a um, another coat on top of that, so it'll be a little bit better. I know a lot of the ladies with embroidery machines have been embroidering these. So we'll put a little heart after her name and nobody will ever know that it wasn't supposed to be that way. But us. Um, <laughs> okay, Becky, I'm glad you asked. Because I can't say. Becky has a question for you. Why do you have your mask on? Did she not, did they see you? <laughs> I guess so. Mom. You want to know why you're wearing a mask around For your protection. She said it's for my protection against COVID. <laughs> her, um, her daughter Paisley, you know how Paisley got to go to school yesterday? No, no specifics. Sherry says, I think I know. <laughs> you're right, Sherry. Um, no specifics. Ask them out for pizza. <laughs> Dusty. Anyway, her daughter, who went to school for her first time yesterday, since last March, and was so excited to be back at school. There's your train. The train's coming. Um, she's a kid that's trying. She was exposed over the weekend by somebody, and... 
close, very close, and um, not Brittany's side, her dad's side. And so she's in quarantine and she had to leave school today and she bawled and bawled, I guess. I haven't seen her. So Brittany's been around her. So now Brittany's not. Brittany called the health department. She's not in quarantine because she is just kind of, I don't know what they call that, second or third hand. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why she has a mask on. I did not get my vaccination scheduled and Cassidy called me today and asked. So poor Paisley is on quarantine till the 15th when she can take a test. So she's pretty devastated. All right, so we have a rabbit that is finished. Now it'll look better once we put um, the carrot. What else did, I had said something else that we could have put in its hands. What was it? But when I put the hands up like this, it'll just cover her name a little bit. It won't cover it too much. And you can see this is where I tried to write her name. I guess it was with that puffy paint is what I was trying to do. And it was, don't use puffy paint. If they didn't want to write on the material, they could paint a ribbon egg and put it in their hand. <gasps> that would be a good idea. Yeah. Brittany got you guys a better idea. So if you don't want to paint on this material, put a wooden egg in its hand and decorate the egg and personalize the egg. Okay, see, you can do it that way too. So, but I can go in here and kind of fix that. It'll take a little bit of white paint to um, get that out. Oh, you guys, I got my live on air neon sign yesterday. I thought my husband would bring it up and put it in my window today so that, you know, during the summer when everybody's out walking up and down the street and I'm live, I can put up, light up my neon sign that says live on air. And then everyone in town's going to be like, man, did we get a radio station or what down there? <laughs> so, um, so anyway, there's your rabbit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you want to see another one? I love these frazzled looking chickens. Oops. Right there. Isn't that cute? That poor chicken looks like it's just been through a hectic day. And I'm the one who bought those chickens for her. And I think I needed to have one. And she's like, what am I supposed to do with that? <laughs> what am I supposed to do with it? Now look how cute they are. And she thinks, now she should have bought more. I am not going around Paisley. Paisley is in quarantine. So I won't be going around her at all. It's going to be kind of quiet up here. So. So anyway, guys, let me see. What was... I thought there was something else we were going to put in her hands. Oh, I have a band over here. Oh, where? In that stuff. Okay, I found something for you guys. This one? It's right there, I haven't seen it. Cute, cute. But if you give this to a kid, they're going to think that it's real. So Brittany made these little bunny heads. They're plaster of Paris. I don't know what for, but anyway, you could, oh, a little bouquet of them. Mm -hmm. And then tied the ribbon around their neck. Oops, I'm going to get my hand in that paint. Look at that. Isn't that adorable? Okay, let me get that one out of the way. So I'd have to put the hands up here because Taylor is kind of, I should have put that down further. So put yours down further. You can see the mistake that I made. But to put little ribbons around there and make a little bouquet of uh, chocolate suckers. 